Hello, I'm Jeff Steiner from Americans in France, and I'm going to tell you about Francois Hollande's political platform for the 2012 French presidential election. Okay, so what's the political platform of Francois Hollande? Well, this is it. I've broken it down into these points. He actually came up with a political platform that had 60 points, but I... Uh, didn't think I wanted to bore you that much. So basically what he wants to do is he wants to hire 60,000 teachers. Um, there's been cutbacks in education over the last five years. The incumbent president, uh, Nicolas Sarkozy, has cut back on teachers. So Holland wants to hire 60,000 new teachers. He wants to basically raise taxes on the wealthy. Um, or as he would say, he wants to make the tax code more fair. What, what, what happened when Sarkozy was elected, he, after he came into power, he basically got rid of France, had a wealth tax. And Sa Sarkozy got w uh, rid of that. And even with France having great budget difficulties, um, he still hasn't, Sarkozy hasn't reinstated that and he refuses to, to do it. He doesn't, so he doesn't want to raise taxes on the wealthy. And then Holland says, well, I'm going to raise taxes on the wealthy to balance the budget. That's what I'm going to do. One of the things I'm going to do. And that's the next thing, balancing the budget. Basically, he wants to balance the budget. He, because he, what, he, what he says he wants to do is by 2017, he's going to have the French budget will be balanced government budget will be balanced. That's basically what he said. He also wants to lower the um, the deficit to 3% of GDP by 2013, to less than 3%. That's the magic cutoff for um, the euro, the, the, some of the restrictions that France has because it's in the year. It's supposed to be less than 3%, but nobody is right now because of all the, uh, all the, the recession that's going on. He wants to try to help with people's purchasing power and one of the ways he wants to do that is he wants to do as I would understand it is um, a rent controlled and he also wants to uh, try to cut uh, power bills and utility bills as much as possible he wants to look into that he also is good in favor of uh, gay marriage gay adoption uh, I think this is me this is kind of I find this pretty interesting He's going to lower in, he was going to lower the retirement age to 60 for those who have worked for 40 or I think it's 41, 42 years. So basically, if you start work at 18, you can retire at 60. If you haven't w go work for 42 years or 41 years, whatever it is, you have to continue working until 62. Basically, Sarkozy he raised the age, the retirement age up to 62, and Holland's going to lower it back for those who have paid into the system for enough time. Uh, Holland also wants to create a, a contrat de génération. Basically what that is, it's a contract where if a company hires uh, somebody under 20, I think it's 25, a youth worker, someone under 25, and they have a, another uh, employee who's oh, 55 or older, quote, a, a, a mature employee. Basically what will happen is, is that they can have the young worker and the older worker, and they can have them on their payroll and pay less or no payroll taxes. Basically, the idea is that the older worker will transfer their knowledge to the younger worker and makes it easier because they're going to cut basically cut payroll taxes. He wants to renegotiate uh, the European Treaty. Basically, this is a treaty with Sarkozy and Merkel from the um, Chancellor of uh, Germany had negotiated about uh, for Europe uh, the budgetary constraints and the trying to raise money because he's trying to bail out these other countries that are having difficulty. Basically, Holland, he said that he's going to um, renegotiate that. And he wants to give the vote to, to non-citizens, people who have lived here for five years legally, lived in France for five years. He wants to give them the right to vote. And this is only local elections, not national elections, but in local elections. And right now, EU citizens have this right, so basically he wants to extend, extend that right to non-citizens. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye.